The launch of GOCHE in 2009 on its mission to map the Earth's gravitational field with unprecedented accuracy. Originally designed to last just 20 months, the spacecraft has performed well beyond expectations to deliver a wealth of scientific data. GOCHE has been a tremendous success both in terms of the technology that we have demonstrated in space but also certainly in terms of the uh, scientific achievements. We have uh, delivered to the world, if you will, uh, the best ever models of the Earth gravity field and through, this, uh, through these new models of the Earth gravity field we have enabled a lot of new science in, the, in all the areas, in fact, that do need gravity field information. Our planet may look round, but Gauthier has shown that its gravitational field is distinctly bumpy and varies across the Earth. This data has been used to improve our understanding of the patterns of ocean circulation. It's rather spectacular. It shows a lot more spatial detail and more information, more uh, oceanographic information, and it's uh, sort of been the oceanographer's wild and, uh, dream to get this kind of information. Results from Goche have also been used to produce a new map of the boundary between the Earth's crust and mantle. Because of its low orbit, it was even able to detect sound waves from the massive earthquake that hit Japan in March 2011. Once Goche runs out of fuel, this sleek, aerodynamic Ferrari of spacecraft will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere, bringing the mission to an end. We have had an excellent ride. We cannot complain about Goche at all. We have really thoroughly enjoyed this mission and we knew from the beginning that the mission was to be not a very long one. It was designed for 20 months of operations. In the end we have squeezed out more than four and a half years, so I think that's uh, pretty good actually. That said, it's part of your life and uh, it's difficult to move on. Some parts of the spacecraft are expected to survive re-entry. This will be closely monitored by ESA's Space Debris Office which will issue predictions and assessments.